I just went to Starbucks and got a China Green Tips tea, which will probably have to wait in my car until after my laser appointment. Um, I didn't know if my laser appointment was at 9 or 10, so I came early, and it's about 9.30 right now, almost, 9.20. So, um, I've got a good amount of time to wait. I guess I'm going to go into this um, grocery store and buy some fruit that's pre cut and stuff. So I got some pineapple. My alarm clock is going off. An In Touch magazine. Anybody going to do the fruit detox with me? I'm just going to eat fruit and nuts, I think, primarily for the next week, and then I'll see after that. But nuts are where you get your protein, people. That's what it is. I say fruititarian because fruitarian isn't actually a term, it's actually a fruitarian because I cheat a little bit. A fruitarian still eats nuts, they don't primarily eat fruit. This is where I wait with the numbing cream on my face. I just got out of my laser peel and I'm very happy. Um, even though my face is on fire right now, let me look at it. And I have, <laughs> I look like crazy because I put sunblock on, um, but I didn't even like rub it in all the way because like the sun in Florida is so intense right now. Um, I can already tell a difference, and it kind of actually hurt more this time because she did like a higher level laser. Um, I can't wait to do my laser video though because I'm excited. My results have been amazing. And if anyone lives in the Sarasota area, um, the place I go is actually in Venice and she's really nice and really good. So if anyone needs a recommendation, I can give it to you. What do you think my face looks like right now? Uh, way worse than when you had it done the first time. It feels way worse. She just went all out on you. Well, she said she went a second time on my cheeks. The well, first time she didn't sh do the second time on my cheeks, and it was a lot higher of a laser. And so she said she did 800 more something on my face than she did last time. And she, did she do that for the same price? Yeah. She does a good price. It's $199. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of a laser treatment costing $199. Right. Their microdermabrasion is $45. Anytime I've ever gotten that done before, it's always $90, at least, anywhere. Mm -hmm. And they look like their place is a lot nicer and cleaner mm -hmm. than most places. It looks good. I, mean, it, I can tell it's going to be real even and real nice. Right. It's like, just from the... Mm -hmm. Can you tell? It's intense. It's intense. Oh. Wow. I feel sick. <coughs> My chest hurts. Does it? Yeah, really bad. Well, maybe you had more pain than you realized. Did they give you anything well, for pain? Well, um, last time I took Xanax beforehand mm -hmm. and after, or not after, bef like you take two Xanax, one like an hour before this procedure and then one 30 minutes pre before. Mm -hmm. um, and this time I didn't get a prescription for it because I didn't really feel like it did anything to me, mm -hmm. um, so I didn't really think it was necessary. But Xanax just calms you down, so I don't think that that is necessary. Well, I'm just having chest pains for some reason. Well, that's because it didn't. You weren't calmed down. You probably <laughs> needed to be calmed down no. a little bit. <laughs> not, not very high strung. You probably. You don't have any Xanax from the last time? I, I swear that on the bottle it says two refills of Xanax. And I don't think they meant to because they gave me a prescription for some antibiotic for my skin too. And there's two refills on that. And I think they meant to just do it on that and not on the Xanax. But they gave me. And so do you have refills that you could fill if you need Yeah, them? but why do I need Xanax? Well, you don't need it now, I guess. But if you feel like <clears throat> your chest pain. Xanax is one of those drugs that people really like, right? It is. I took a Xanax one time, and it just, like, I, because I was flying and was a little stressed out, mm -hmm. so I took a Xanax, and I literally fell right to sleep on the plane. I don't know how people can, like, walk around and function during the day. I have this friend, and it. he was living with this girl, and she 
took Xanax as her drug of choice, mm -hmm. and she was always so out of it. Right. It was disgusting. Like it, like it was really disgusting. Well, even when people are on Xanax, you really can't have even as superficial as our conversation is right now, where it's like almost a meaningless conversation, I guess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, people on Xanax even have a hard time with that kind of conversation. Well, that's what she was like. <laughs> when I was in the bathroom at this bar in Los Angeles with Chris, um, this girl offered me some cocaine. And I was the only person in the bathroom that didn't take it from her. You were in the bathroom with Chris? No, at this bar. I went into the bathroom and there was just a bunch, like there was a line of girls. And the, this girl was just offering everyone cocaine. And then she was making out with this one girl. And every time anybody took the cocaine from her, she, um, she would want them to kiss her on the lips. And then when I said, oh, no, I'm good, she's like, this is L.A., bitch. Like, okay, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm not so L.A. for you. Wow. This is L.A., bitch. Wow. Let's what about it house. being a stripper? No. Uh, you know, my experience one time when I was uh, a teenager, uh -huh. I didn't really like babysitting because, of course, I'm not really that good with kids. And I was, you know, but I did it as a favor. But the people that wanted me to babysit, their parents owned a bar where there was a stripper pole or whatever. So I'd have to babysit upstairs of the bar, kind of listening to that. And the girls that, um, the girls that were the strippers were shooting up heroin and stuff before they went out to strip. That's to let themselves go. I just, I, I was very uncomfortable with the situation. And I was very uncomfortable having a child that close to that situation, I thought, what the hell? You know, there are easier ways to make money. Like, Did they ever try it. to get you to be a stripper? No, I didn't really. I don't think that I have the kind of body that people would pay to see. No, people, you, when you were how old? 18, is that what you said? Uh, you, when I babysat, I, was, I didn't. I didn't have to babysit when I was 18. I was probably like 12 or 13. Oh, I thought you were saying. No. Oh, they made you come to a stripper place when you were 12 or 13? Maybe 14. I was young. I definitely didn't drive or anything yet. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was gross. I mean, it was gross. And then when I would go to that same person's house, and I only did it a few times to babysit their, their child, um, they would have, like, they had a certain amount of money. And right now I think they're doing probably very good. But What strip place is it in Pittsburgh? It, um, it was a place. It was a place in Etna. Are these just scarves? Uh huh. These are pretty. Aren't they, aren't they pretty? So this is John. The new Johnny was. This belt is really, really cute. I like this red scarf. Mm -hmm. And this one is cute. It's just a big. You love scarves. You haven't I worn love one scarves. in a while. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. Can't wait till it chills down just a smidge. I'll have my scarves on. But it's nice and it's um. I like that one a lot. That one's nice. Not expensive. And then this little... She's cute, isn't she? She is real cute. She's really cute. This she's, is silk? She's wearing a Lisa Tabas. What length? Uh, she likes the 36 inch. Wow. Wow. I saw her a little weird. I like it like that. I think she did some drugs. She looks out of it. Yeah, she looks way out of it. She looks like she's looking at you like, what the hell did you do to your skin? <laughs> You think, look at my porcelain skin. I know, how do you get that? Wow, she doesn't have any pores showing at all. She doesn't have pores. I would like that. Those are eyelash extensions. Take I have them off of her. That looks like yours. They do look like mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What length are you wearing of the Lisa Tavas today? Oh, Is I it five sort foot? Sort of a weird under my thing. Just tuck it into your shirt? Uh, because I had it on, but it didn't look quite right with them. Blouse like this, but I think it's five. It's five foot. Mm -hmm. and I think you could have a be a stripper when you were eighteen. No, I could not have been. No, people. The guys like the real tiny like that. I think a lot of times. I'm sure people would have liked it, but I would not have been able to do it. <laughs> there was one that I really liked, the long do dress that we got by Johnny was. Oh, I didn't leave that here. Oh, you didn't. It's really pretty. Oh, are you going to get this too? Mm -hmm. Looks this is like my you. Little Dutch girl. 
Dutch. Mm-hmm. I thought it looked like a cowboy. Oh, really? It's cute. Isn't it cute? It is cute. Oh, I could wear that. <coughs> Get away from my apple, yo. Get away from it. Me and Clyde have been laying down all day because my face looks like horrible. Um, and, you know, I'm starting my fruit fruitarian ways today and when you eat fruitarian you eat whenever you like so you don't have breakfast lunch and dinner you just eat when you're hungry and you just make sure to eat the fruit 30 to 45 minutes or I try it at least 45 minutes to eat separate fruits hey you stop that bad boy you stop that you don't even like apples get away get away I'll give you some chicken. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have my pink lady apple now. Doesn't it look nice?